Okay, I'm excited for this because I've been wanting to do this for a while. So whenever you're ready, you can start off, uh, introduce yourself and uh, give us a little brief background about the language as well. So okay. go ahead. Um, yeah, hi, I'm Martin. Um, I live in London where I grew up and my family is Arborist. So they're from a town called Santa Cristina Gelva, which is in the Palermo province of Sicily. And it's a ni there's 900 people. Um, and I'm second generation British uh, raised Arborist person. Um, and we speak a uh, Albanian variety um, that descends from 15th century Albanian. So our ancestors came here for various reasons. There are some, there's some myths involved that we fled to the Turkish occupation or that we went uh, because we were soldiers with the Venetian uh, uh, Marines, called the Stradioti. Um, that we were defending, our ancestors were defending the Adriatic coast from the Turkish Ottoman invasion. So as a result, um, our language uh, has diverged. Well, our language and the Albanian that's spoken in the Balkan Peninsula have diverged from each other from 15th century Albanian in some unique ways. Uh, I've always been told that we sound like we're speaking some version of like as if an English person went to another country and heard people speaking Shakespearean English in another accent. Like old English. Like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but in a totally That's how I explain accent. it to people. Like there's different dialects of Albanian. It's it's equivalent to like Canadian English versus British English versus even like Jamaican English for the ones that I can't understand at all. But <laughs> yeah, it's it's all, it's all one language, just different dialects. Okay, well, Clyde, you can do a, a brief introduction since people already know you from other videos. So. <laughs> Hi, I'm Clyde. I'm from Tirana, Albania, and I speak Albanian. <laughs> First of this guy, it's very short. <laughs> so the way we're going to do this is in parts. The, the first part, the words are uh, very much the same or pronounced the same. So we'll start off. So I say the word and uh, we should go. Okay, Martin, you say it first and then Clyde says after. So it's not at the same time. Okay. Okay. So the first word is cousin. Kushiri. We say kushiri. So this one, kushiri. It, it's it's not exactly the same, but it's very close. Mm -hmm. okay. Wait, Martin, do you guys have the two dots over the second e? There isn't an e in it. It's kushiri. Kushiri. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, we have we have two types of e's. Uh, one is like a normal E, and then one is like an E with two dots on top of it. That one sounds, so the normal E sounds like E, and the other E sounds like E. Uh. We, we have that too, but it, we, it also sounds like E uh, as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's not in this word. Okay, so the next word is house. Shpi. Shpi. Yeah. But... If you're just trying to like say it quickly or like just say a sentence, like you can probably get away with saying "spi," and no one's gonna be like, "Hey, excuse me, you said the wrong word." <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> how do you say the house? The house, shtepia. Yeah. Shtepia. Yeah. But same, same common though. Like, yeah, I've said yeah. shtepia before, and people knew what I was talking about. So, cool. The next one is eat. Ha. Ha. Next one is name. Embry. Ember. Well, Ember. Ember as well. Like what I said is the name, actually. Oh, okay. We, uh, we can say Emery. Emery. Yeah. Embry. But do you guys have a B in it? Yes. Oh, okay. We don't have a B in it. No, no. Uh, yeah. There's other words like that as well, because like heart, zimbra. Mm hmm. We say Zimmer. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys added stuff. <laughs> oh, you took away. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Well, the comment sections are going to rip on that comment, buddy. <laughs> you lost it. You my lost followers it. got my back on that one. <laughs> Welcome to our babies. <laughs> <laughs> so this next one, uh, if you if you look at the way it's spelled, it's... Uh, uh, it's a little different, but the, the way you pronounce it is... Okay, well, I'm just, just going to say it. So the word is far. Zarro. 
Larg. <laughs> you see, like, uh, these are words, and, and there's a lot of them, uh, which are close, even if they're not spelled the same, they, they sound very similar. But now we're going to move on to the next section where you have words that are um, totally different, right? Mm -hmm. And I think this, this kind of makes it interesting as well. So again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say the word in English and then you just say it. You want Clyde to go first this time? Okay, yeah, this time, okay, let's switch oh. it up. This time Clyde says it first and then, <laughs> then you say it after. Okay, so the first word is head. Coca. Kriet. But how do you say, like, prime minister? Prime minister? Prime minister. So you have the word, you just pronounce it differently and it means something else. Ah. Because I, I don't know how you pronounce it. Kriet? Yeah. Prime minister. Kriet. Yeah, Kriet. That's it's kind of related. That makes sense, because he's like the head. He's the head exactly. of the country, you know? Yeah, exactly. Well, then depending on the country, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like it when you can see why it's re why it's both um, <coughs> related, but you know, semantic relationship. Okay, so the next word is money. Uh, para. Um, granite. Whoa. <laughs> Say it again. Granite. Granite? No, that one, I don't, yeah. Yeah. Granite. Um, when I said para, were you like, what is he talking about? Or did you know what I was <laughs> trying to say? No, no, no. Um, para, I mean, for us, I think it's like in front of. Para, spies. For, for example, that too. Yeah, for uh, that. Yeah. Okay. It's the same for us. The next word is animal. Kaf. Animate. Animal or animals? Either, which, what would you say uh, for just animal? Uh, animal. Oh. It's, it's almost the same as what it is in English. Wow. Animal, okay. animate, animate. Do you think like those people that, okay, so let me get this straight. A bunch of people went from Albania to Italy and then they started calling themselves Arboresh, like after a while. And then their language evolved? Is that what happened? Um, it already was called Arbores 500 years ago because before Skanderbeg, everyone was, Albania was called Arbria. Oh. Um, so, Jeez. yeah, okay. so our, we're the original Albanians. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, what, I don't uh, like the way I'm feeling right now. The, <laughs> <laughs> like, what's what I, I need some backup up in here. Come on. <laughs> yeah. I, used to, I used to say that I'm Albanian when I was younger, and my uh, family used to tell me, um, we're not, well, I used to use the word Shkiptar, and they used to say, yep. we're not Shkiptar, we're Arbres, it's different. So, and you have the flag. Anyway, what I was trying to get at, what I was trying to get at, because the word you just used for animal, you said animal? Animal. Animal. That sounds like someone just like read it off in an English textbook and said, you know what, we're going to use this word. <laughs> like, do you think, because we don't have that word at all in Albanian, so no. I don't, I don't uh, see, see like the, his, the history with every word is different, right? So, like, yeah. it's quite possible that uh, an English word or an Italian word or a French word or whatever word could be adopted in any language, right? Like, but yeah. that is not the case with if, with all of them. Like, there are, there are words which are older and they just kind of were retained, while in yeah. Albania maybe they've stopped being used. So, it varies depending on what word we're talking about, right? It's not yeah. always the same. Yeah. I know that I've heard one word that is like um, to food. I know that for us, the word for food is tungrenit. And I think for Albanians, it's ushkim. Ush yep. Yeah, for us, ushkim means the food that you give animals. So like fada, for us, I think it's called in For us, tungrenit, yeah. what you just said, it means like, yeah. tungren means like you've eaten. Right, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so I think sometimes like maybe kash meant cattle or something like that, and then it became the word after several hundred years. It just became the word, and maybe we used to have animal or animal, and then we made a distinction between different types. I don't know. Uh, so the next one is work. 
people know. Or if you're just talking about like work as in your job, you say pun. Okay. Um, so the noun for work is shulbutir. Um, but the verb is shulben. Okay. Shulben. And pun or punon for us means to um, plow the field. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. We, we use that too. For not talking. Ah, exactly. Right, that's exactly. Yeah. For no Funny day. story, my mom, we have like a little backyard here where we like grow some tomatoes and my mom's like, not talking. and I'm like, Ma, you sound like the little like 1700s villagers that had to do this to like live. Like, I'm exactly. busy, all right? I'm going to the club right now, all right? I can do that tomorrow, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Do you have anything that sounds like shur, shurben? Say again. Shurben. Shurben. Oh, yeah. So, hmm. shurbim is like when you're, how do I say this? Like, you know those like religious people that they, they go and they um, they practice, they're not, they don't practice, it, but they uh, try to like grow awareness for their religion. Yeah, like they just go like door to door, or like they um they stand outside uh, yeah. with like with like the 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 books to like give to yeah. people. That's called shurbim, like when you're going oh, wow. on. It could also mean like when you're serving someone. Exactly. That's that's shurbim. So I, yeah, I guess uh, that makes sense. You're serving God for them, and then the waiter is serving your table. Yeah, yes. and then for us it's work. And uh, thing is shurbisa. It's really weird because it's related. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay, I feel like every word you've said and every word I've said, like we both have, it's just a little bit yeah. different and for different meanings. Exactly. It's yeah. This section <clears throat> of the video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do some, uh, we're going to do false friends as well. So that's where uh, you'll see like words where you, you use them differently, right? Like the same yeah, yeah, word yeah. means one thing here, it means completely different, something completely different. Yeah. Okay, so we'll do That's one more. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? What are you trying to tell me right now? <laughs> no, no, no. That, that, that's just your big friend. I was like, bro, like, what's your wedding? What do you mean? <laughs> we go to everyone's wedding. <laughs> okay, so one more word, and then we're going to do uh, family words afterwards. So the next one is empty. Bosch. Mbrazet. Okay. Zbrazet, I think. I think that's how you say it. I'm sorry, guys. It's early here. Yeah, I just woke up. Zbrazet. <laughs> I know, I know. I don't always look like this when I wake up. But for Pahador <clears throat> and for my new boy, Martin. <laughs> Zbrazet means like when you're emptying something. Oh, there you go. Mbrazet. Which that's is related empty. to Bosch. Yeah, sorry, yeah, it's related to empty. So. Yeah, exactly. So, next uh, part, which are the family words. Uh, so, you can just say the way you would say them in Arabic, and then we'll kind of compare to how it is in Albanian. Should he guess what they mean? Uh, I'm thinking that you could say them, and then yeah. Clyde can guess. Yeah. But so, keep in mind, Clyde, these are all family or, or relatives, yeah. like words. So, that's, your, that's a huge hint. So, you can yeah, go okay. ahead and just say them. So, Tata. Did you say Tata? Yeah. That means dad in Serbian. That's dad in Arabic. For real? Yeah. Oh, geez. <clears throat> My Serbian <laughs> knowledge has uh, helped me. <laughs> Great. And what do you say? Baba or Ba. Uh, yeah, okay. for, for dad. That's actually, that's actually a false friend for us, but we can talk about that after. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Mirma. Uh, that's mom. Yeah. Or, what do you, say? you know what? Nun. I've heard it used for both mom, but I used to call my grandma Nana. Nana? Yeah. Okay, but I'm pretty say, sure it's mainly used for mom. Okay, grandmother, we say Nona. Nona, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And mom, mom is Mirma. Hmm. Yeah. And Nani. Is that grandpa? Yeah. It sounds like no, no, in Italian yeah. is grandpa, but yeah, in yeah. Albanian, grandpa is juice. Okay. 
No, we don't have that word. Yeah. Um, okay, Motteramen. Sister? You close, you're very close. Motteramen. My sister? No. Motteramen. Uh, Motteramen. Oh, okay. I'm putting two and two together in my head right yeah. now. So Motra is, is the same. Uh, Sister-in-law? No. We, you already got one of the words, Murmur. And then Motra is sister. So if you put them together, you get is like... your aunt? Yes, your mum's sister. Oh. Oh, yeah. okay. Mot then we got um, Mortata. Mortada? Mortata. Mortata? Yeah. Sister on your dad's side? So, sister, yes. Mor is short for Motra, and then uh -huh. Tata. Yeah, so, so like your dad's sister. Your dad's sister, yeah. How do you say yeah. My dad's sister is my Hala, yeah. and my mom's sister is my Teze. Ah, right. No, yeah. no, it doesn't mean anything. No. Yeah, yeah. Tatmadi. Say it again. Tat Mavi. Your mom's like, dad? No, but you're close. Dad? Madri. Your dad's mom? Tat, Tat Mavi is your dad's dad. Oh. Yeah. So it's like Mavi, the, the big one, and Tata. Oh. So it's like ta Tata, like the big dad, big daddy. <laughs> big daddy, <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> and, then, uh, <laughs> and then there's uh, another one. Um, well, when I'm a grandpa, I'm going to tell everyone to call me that. Be like, you can refer to me as big daddy. <laughs> yeah. To all my daddy. grandkids. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, and then there's one more, one more um, I guess. Uh, roi. Sorry? Roi. Oh, no idea. Um, okay, so, so if I do it in plural, Ruez. How do you spell it? Um, L L U A or L L U E Z E with umlaut R. Brother? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, it's so different. For us, it's Vla. Okay, I guess we both have the L. So some old people. Oh no, okay, it's the same. Because if it's plural, we say Vlez. Vlez, yeah. Vlez. We say Vlez. Yeah. Um, some old. <laughs> yeah. Some old people say Vra. Vra. So that sounds a bit closer. Vra. So I think what happened with us is that because we don't have the double L. Like you, you pronounce the double L differently to us. So yeah. ours is like R, and then they just kind of swapped it around. And so it's hard to say R or R. So, so that it just became like the V became a W in this way okay. it sounds. So it's like W. Yeah. yeah. But it's the same word. We even have words for people that are um, quite complicated relations so like Mortata, your dad's sister um her husband is there's a word for him like oh. that lal booker so it's like lal means older brother or the oldest cousin and um he's the one that brings bread like lal bukri like book means bread so he's like the older yeah. brother that brings bread it's really interesting and then oh. Yeah, and then I think we have some of that that's probably the same, but maybe a bit different. So like Nusa, like, what does that mean to you? Nusa? Nusa, as a family Nusa member. Means, Nusa means like the wife, the wife or the bride. Exactly, yeah. And it also can mean your sister-in-law or your daughter-in-law. But do you add anything to Nusa or like, do you just say Nusa and like, Nusa. Nusia. Like Nusa. All right. Uh, I think so far this has been pretty interesting.
Um, so now this is this is the part that is could be kind of funny for some people, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, the false friends, um, as and I, when I was looking at these, some of them I found to be very interesting because I, I I didn't think like like this word is like almost it's the same word and it's just used for something totally different. Mm -hmm. um, so when you're ready, you can say them, and then Clyde, you can say what that means to you, and then mm -hmm. we'll talk about it in our fish. Okay, okay. So, bye. <clears throat> so I'll start with a very clean one. Um, shock. A uh, friend? No. <laughs> friend is Nick. Um, shock is um, husband. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and shock, yeah? Uh, yeah, so shock we use for a guy who's a friend. And you said shock, yeah? Shock, yeah. Is that a girl who's a friend? I know the answer. Is the answer no. Wife. <laughs> That's why. <wife. laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. These are words that can really throw you off if you're like listening to the other person. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Like when you don't have any exposure to it at all, like when I was a young teenager, I used to hear Albanians sat next to me in cafes. Because they're always in the cafe in England. Um, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, all day. And uh, they talk about, like, they use these words, and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, the next one? Awkward. It's like, you guys are married? Like, no, I just said she's my friend. It's like, but you said you're married to her. It's like, yeah, no, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Like, I heard someone once saying, I owe a shock ya email. And I was like, oh, she's your wife. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. Not, yeah. Not at all. You know, they're like cousins or something. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> like, <just being> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nusa is another false friend because in this, in this context, Nusa means girlfriend. That's what my grandma calls my girlfriend. Really? But it's not right. Like, grandma, we're not married. You know, like, <laughs> chill. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. And then, thunder. The husband. Um, boyfriend. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's yeah. very, yeah. That could, that could just throw off a whole conversation. Yeah, exactly. And you don't say, I have um a girlfriend you say yam zander mm. and then the woman says yam nusa okay yeah sometimes these uh false friends aren't just going to confuse you or throw off the conversation but they could start a fight because <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you'd be like what are you talking about <laughs> Yeah. Why are you hitting on my girl? He's like, no, you said she's your cousin. Like, no, I didn't. Mo. I said she's my girl. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, this is a more funny one. Um, fund. Fund? Mm. Okay, we use it at, at, as like the end, but you're going to say now it's the beginning. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know whether I should make you guess what it means. Or, um, yeah, let's say it's a part of the body. Fund? Yeah. Oh, we also use fund, fund as a... Oh, no, we don't. Never mind. Um, okay. Part of the body. Yeah. Which part of my body is the end? <laughs> uh, <Yeah>. My foot? <laughs> no? Feet? Well, no. It's, okay. it's the, um, I'm sitting on it. Chair? <laughs> oh, your <laughs> yeah. ass. That makes so much sense. Yeah. That makes so much sense because that's like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's the end. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's where it ends. It's the end. Yeah. <laughs> but what's brilliant is because like in the early 90s, lots of like a couple of films came out from Albania and my family will watch it. And then at the end of the film, it says, Bundi. And we're like, wow. <laughs> okay. No chill. <laughs> no, we're like, Bundi. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Exactly. <laughs> so, um, my friend who is Arab British and is married to a woman from Tirana, he told me that when he, when his wife's parents met his parents, his parents said, uh, like, what a beautiful young woman you have. And they were like, what? <laughs> <laughs> we're married. <laughs> so like, wow. li literally, so like, literally it was like your, your daughter, like you, you just told them that their daughter is illegitimate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the false friends are really complicated. I, there's one more that I just want to do because I, um, I really like the difference. Um, how do you say thank you? But I mean, there. Yeah. When we hear that, people, so there's quite a lot of people from Albania that live in our village. And uh, when, when they say that, we respond, which is like, say hi to your dog. Because for us, Falami means um, hello. And Derit means to your dog. Sorry, to your pig. So it's like, oh. when we hear Falami Derit, it's like, yeah, we respond like, because it's like they just told us to say hello to our pig. So you guys are just talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> like, but everyone knows. Everyone like I know. Funny and Dennis means thank you. That we just don't use it. And yeah, I yeah. just like it because it's like dead. We don't have a difference. Like, I we have one R. Like, if it's written two R's or one R, it sounds the same. Mm -hmm. And so dead. Dad, me, for us, means pig. How do you guys say thank you? Taharis this. Sorry? Taharis this. Oh. Yeah. This comes oh, from sorry. Greek. It's related uh -huh, to okay. the Greek word of Haristo. Yeah. Uh -huh. Martin, do you want to read uh, your sentence first? And then yeah. uh, Clyde can try to guess. And then yep. do this. So whenever you're um, ready to go, you can read yours. Losia balloon in the deity, mimic team. You say it again. Losia balloon in the deity, mimic team. I played ball at the beach with my friend. Yes. Okay. Wow. Good. <laughs> okay, so we'll do, uh, so Clyde, you can do your sentence and then. So we can see how Martin does with this one. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, Dear hunger book my diaspora dark. Say again. Dear hunger. Yesterday. Yesterday I ate. Book my diath. Um. Uh, bread with um cheese. Yeah, for dark. For something dark for dinner. Know. For dinner. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> do you cool, guys cool. do that? Do you guys eat bread with cheese for dinner? Uh, we eat bread with cheese a lot, but not for dinner. I love it. <laughs> no, yeah. I think my real Albanian fans know what I'm talking about right now. Or my <laughs> Albanians, or also my Balkans. You guys are there too. I know you're there. Take some bread, toast it, heat it up real good, put olive oil on it. Oregano, feta cheese. Nice. My you must really love this because uh, you mentioned it in another video last <laughs> year. Have I? Yeah. Jeez. Wow. Oh man, I have a personality, I swear. I like more than one thing. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I've always wanted to do that just to see like how much of how much of a whole conversation will we understand? Mm. You know, because I had to like adapt a lot. I find it difficult because when I see Albanians around, like I know that I'm related to them, but like we look different and we speak differently, and it's like, yeah, you know, they we don't know each other's way of speaking, so it's quite difficult. But the Albanians that live in our village, they adapt. Like apparently, after about three months, they get they get it. Mm. We can we can communicate. I don't live there, so. And I think it would work vice versa, right? Like if you yeah. were to stay in Albania for a few months or something and yeah. you'd be able to start having those conversations. Yeah, exactly. I wrote a book about our bridge, by the way. 
sorry? Uh, I, wrote, I wrote a phrase book about uh, arborist, by the way. Really? Yeah, yeah. You, it's called Everyday Arborist. Wow. That's you, can cool, get it on Lulu. you can get it on Lulu. Yeah. My book's also at the museum in Korea. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, talking yeah. to a celebrity here, Klein. <laughs> cool, man. Wait, well, it's funny because you're on the talk, Mister <laughs> Mister Two Hundred K subscribers, almost. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't yeah. mean anything. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> but you know are getting like, spotted what? out here, not with the beard. Yeah, you look a little different. <laughs> it's like when Ronaldo puts on a hat and hopes people don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> you play on a I, beard. <laughs> I walked into that museum one day and uh, like four years ago and um, they said, um, oh, a little woman, really little, uh, with blonde hair, she came in here and she gave us a book and she said her son wrote it. It was oh. like, oh, my mum my mom went there and gave my book to the museum. <laughs> it was really cool. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> I want to say thanks a lot for this and um, also not just, you know, being a part of it, but also sharing all that extra information because it, it makes the video very educational. I think uh, it would be very interesting and very cool for people who are from Albania, but also non-Albanians as well um, yeah. to get acquainted with a language that uh, I'm sure many people who watch these videos are not aware of. So uh, yeah. I think uh, in, in that sense, it is, it's very interesting and really cool. So thank you for that. You're welcome. Thank you for hosting us. Yeah. Thank you. My good thank, sir. And uh, thank you, Clyde, for coming back. And uh, hopefully we'll be doing in-person videos again with you soon. <laughs> yeah. Stay safe out there, people. Yeah. Wear your <laughs> mask. Wash your hands. Don't look any poles. <laughs> it happens. It happens. <laughs> it happens. It happens. <laughs> okay, guys. Take care. Thank you so much. Ciao. See ya. <laughs> Bye.